That's a crocodile. Or is it? Take a look again. Yeah, that's only a robot pretending to be a crocodile. And it's out there spying on real crocodiles and other wild animals for a documentary film crew. Welcome to Then vs Now, where we look at how technology is reshaping wildlife conservation. Observing animal behaviour in their habitats has never been easy. Back in the day, and sometimes even today, scientists would sit hours on end in the jungle with binoculars and cameras. There are of course camera traps, but these result in huge amounts of video with only a tiny fraction of animal footage. But now, robots like these fitted with mics and cameras could be a convenient way to study biodiversity. They can be deployed at close proximity to the animals and also in rough terrains inaccessible to humans. Although it helps, it needn't always look like an animal replica. Here's one gathering images and audio from a forest. And another one that was deployed to see how monkeys would respond to a robot. And it looks like it got them very excited. However, bio-robots are not yet a mainstream research tool. For one, it takes a lot of complicated engineering. It's expensive and you have to take extra caution to ensure that it causes no harm to the animals and their environment. But who knows? This could possibly be what the future of wildlife research could look like.